Hey guys, 10 minutes, and I have another tutorial on um, masking objects in 3D text. And pretty much what I mean by that is masking an object in the map of your cinematic over your text. So here's an example of it. Where it goes, the text goes right behind the pillar, comes out the other side kind of starts to go into the other pillar or behind it and um, I also got this requested because people saw it in my edit so here is mine that I did where the palm tree is right in front of the district text I put right there and um, yeah I'm gonna show you guys how to do this so um, here's the project file what it is, is um, uh, if you guys have seen my tutorial on uh, the 3D motion tracking in After Effects, this is pretty much this, the, um, the same thing. That's what you would do first. So if you go watch my tutorial on how to do this, if you haven't already, then you'll know what I'm talking about. But just uh, track your text. Don't worry about anything in front of it yet. You know, of course, it's going to go behind there because I have the layer off. But just do your motion tracking text and then... I guess you can come back and watch this tutorial. But once you get that done, this is what you'll do next if you want to do this effect. So, um, what it is, is another um, a duplicated layer of the cinematic that you use to motion track on top of it. So, you're just masking out what you want. Because if I take off the masks right here, it'll, the text is gone because this is over it. But pretty much we're just cutting out what we don't want and what we do want of it. So that way, we I do want this palm tree, but I don't want everything else. So that's what I masked out. Um, of course, uh, you do uh, want to get your layer and make sure everything's all aligned. And, um, and just make sure everything's clean and pretty. Because if you uh, have it offsetted and then you have the masks on there, it's going to look really weird and the timing is not going to be good. So just make sure that your cinematic is just duplicated from here. You can take off your text or your uh, effects. So it's just the raw clip. But what you want to do is how I start it is I put on my cinematic layer and I turn off the, the eye so you don't see it. And find the point where the object you want to have go over your text just starts to touch it. So as you can see... Here, it's just about to touch this, so I want to trim it before that. You can trim it, and you can't, or you don't have to, but I just like to trim it sometimes, just to make sure I know what I'm doing, if I'm just doing one thing. And, um, so trim it right there, go over until it's done passing by the text, so we're probably like right there. It's just past it, so I'm going to alt end bracket or just trim it over because I'm on a Mac. Um, so go to the first frame of where the, uh, the cinematic starts, get your pen tool, and start, oops, start to draw a mask. So I'm going to start up here. Go down here, the rectangle. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make this look really sloppy for the sake of the tutorial and time. Um, you really should take your time on this and uh, make sure every keyframe is correct and you know to the shape that you want. Obviously, a rectangle is not gonna be like just not a rectangular palm tree. Some are, at least in this game, are. But you really should take your time. I highly recommend it. Um, once you get your first frame going. Pull down your mask, the little arrow, keyframe your mask path, and go over three frames. So one, two, three, and move your points over. Uh, so to do it precisely, I like to, to have the circular points on your mask. Um, just click your layer so that way it selects it. And um, there. And um, I would recommend going over three frames each time so one two three so one two three um 
Move it over. I like to put the points on the corners, so that way it's looking looking pretty. Nice and good. And arm. Yeah. Um, go over and run three frames. One, two, three. Like that. That. Go over. Go over. And probably by now you can understand what um, I'm doing and uh, how to do it. Uh, a lot of people thought it was um, uh, that I used elements to put the palm tree in there. And uh, I really don't know if that's possible or if that's a good way of doing it. But I guess that's another way to do it if you can have a 3D model of a palm tree or have a model of something in there, but I don't know if they have this, so this is just the the easy way to do it. Oh, go over another three frames. And I'll show you guys what you're getting by moving all these over. Alright, so as you can see, the oops, we gotta turn on the layer. Make sure your layer's on too when you uh, start masking it. Um, you can see that the text is starting to disappear behind the the palm tree, and it's coming out the other side. So that's what you want to get. If you um, this is what I was gonna say. If you don't, if you space it out, like let's say, oh, I want to go over here, cause, you know, save time and stuff, and just be like, oh, here, let's go over here. Come on. Here we go. Here, here, here. You really don't want to do it like this if um, that's the way you want to do it. Because it will look very, very sloppy. And you can see it's like cutting out our text right here. And uh, you should be seeing the eye um, coming out the other side. And it's just not looking good. So make sure you. If you really want it to turn out good, make sure to take your time. Go three frames at a time. And, yeah. So, uh, after you do that, and after you get uh, the masks around it, or the mask, depending on what you do, uh, I would render this out so that way on my computer it takes a while to RAM preview a composition. So I like to make it into a, its original MP4 file or AVI or whatever you want to render it as, and um, messing with it. Cause in here, how I took out the um, uh, the districts and or not the district, the chase in the menu, I just like scaled it up and moved it over, and um, um, put some time remapping on it and other things, so that way it looks a lot better, and um, yeah, so. That's how you do it, and that's the base or the basics of it. Um, of course, you can get more advanced and try to get the leaves and everything. That takes a lot more time, and probably I would for the, if you're gonna get really detailed, go each frame at a time to make sure that it's just behind it. But um, it's kind of it for this tutorial. Uh, if you guys want to see any more tutorials, um, comment what you want to see or message me and I'll get back to you and I'll see what I can do also I might have some uh, COD 4 PC Mac tutorials on how to get demos and open them and record them on Mac since some people wanted to know how I did that and I've I mean there's other people out there that have made tutorials for um, Cut for Mac, but they're not as recent, so I guess it'd be nice to get a recent one out. So if you guys want to see Cut for tutorials, comment below too, uh, like, do that, you know, and yeah, see ya.